All right, what's happening, everybody? It's your man, Akeen, and welcome to the Sports News Insider College Football Blog. I am currently back at home in Springfield, Massachusetts, here to celebrate Thanksgiving with my family. I'm right now at my father's house. He's actually unavailable at this moment. He's in the house, but he's on the phone, so I can't introduce you to him. But I'd like to show a little quick picture of him. That's my father right there in the middle, Mr. Donald McCall, looking fresh to death. We about to actually head out today to start hanging out with my family, about to go see my grandma. You see me with a fresh hat. He's out there getting ready, about to look fresh himself. Actually, let me see if he's available right now. He's probably still on the phone, but let's just check this thing out. Hey, Pop, there he is right there. He's out. Oh, you probably can't see him. Step, step back a little bit. Oh, man. This is my pops right here, Mr. Donald McCall. Say what's up, Pop. Hey, everybody. Hey, look at him, man. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone. And, yeah, man, that's what's up. Thanks, Pop. Look at him fresh to death. Look at me. About to head out right now. I got this hat. I'm all ready to go. I'm all ready fit for rivalry week. This week, number 13 in college football. Cannot wait. But for today's video, I'm going to break down the first game to watch on Thursday. The main watch at Thursday night between Texas, my Texas Longhorns, against the Texas A&M Aggies. Both teams have been struggling a little bit um, this season, but Texas has improved from last year. They are now ranked 25th in the nation. Struggled a little bit bit on the offensive side, particularly at quarterback. They really need to show some consistency in passing the football with David Ash and Case McCoy. Also, we really need to know who is going to be that full-time starting at quarterback between these two players in the future because Mac Brown cannot use to do two of these players throughout their entire careers. But, going back to the Texas Longhorns, they actually starting to develop a running game though, even though they're not passing too well. Now, for the past couple of games, Texas has been struggling offensively because of the lack of passing. Now, their defense is actually getting back to par, holding their last two teams, Kansas State and Missouri, to under 20 points. And their defense has been doing well, but they needed a little bit more consistency on the offensive side, particularly at quarterback and doing better passing the football. Now, the Aggies, they have great offensive weapons with Ryan Tannehill and Cyrus Gray, who last year rushed for over 200 yards at Austin against the Longhorns, and I think he's looking forward to doing the same this season, of uh, this week. Now, also, they need to talk about Ryan Swoop and Jeff Fuller, their leader receivers for the Texas A&M Aggies. Ryan Tannehill is definitely going to be looking towards their direction, particularly Swoop the entire game. Swoop is a good scat back who can give you some tough yardage after the catch. Both these two players are great. Now on the defensive side for the Longhorns, they have been struggling this season and I'm a little bit surprised at that because they have returned a lot of starters this year, but they also gave up so many points in their matches. I believe that they were my dark horse of the Big 12 Conference and maybe even win the Big 12 Championship this season, but they have not been doing too well. So for this game, I'm going to have to go with the Texas Longhorns because of the lack of, of consistency on the defensive side of the Aggies. I think what David Ash and Case McCoy need to do is stay stable and manage that offense in order to develop the run game. Most teams, they usually run first to set the pass, but in this game, they need to set the pass in order for them to run effectively. They need to have a good bounce for this matchup. Now, later on this week, I'm going to give you all my key matches during the, for the top 25 teams of college football and give you all the rest of the rivalry matches that you need to watch. And I'm going to break them down individually and give you individual videos. Thank you for watching today's vlog, today's first vlog from Sports News Insider. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.